Right, so somewhere here, apparently, we've been alerted to a duck stuck in fishing line and it can't free itself. So we now have to find out where it is. Oh, there it is. Other side? Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Launch from here and go across, I guess. Laurie can carry this because he's young and strong and that old and frail. I think I'm young and frail. Right, I'll carry motor. Put that on your back because you're a strong lad. Oh, he's so stubborn too. It's the trouble with Laurie, he's just stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Tell him he hasn't put the battery on it, that'll piss him off. It's not there! Funny. Yes, you left it in the Is back. Is there by any chance in this pocket where I've just seen you put it? Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it, at least do it properly. <laughs> right. <laughs> tally ho, lads. Tally ho. Here we come, quackers. Don't panic. Never fear, quackers. Laurie's here. Steady, Eddie. All right, quackers. All right, quackers. All right, baby. It's well stuck up, isn't it? All right, baby. Come on, come on. Is that a hook? Yeah. I'll leave that one there for a minute. We'll just do the duck first and get the work crap off there in a minute. All right, quackers, come on. So it's got a load of line. We'll get the hook and all the other bits later, or the float and all the other bits later on. But this is... Honestly, if fishermen just cleared up their tackle, we wouldn't have all these problems. All right, babs. So he's free, I think. I don't think there's, oh, there's something that hooks in his neck, actually. Oh, s***, I wanted you to come back. Yeah, there's the sharp bit there. I think you should come back, Laurie, to be honest. Can you see the other side of the hook? I can feel it in my thumb. I don't think it's pierced the surface, though. So. OK, if it's not pierced, just in case. No, there it is. It's not through. I think we should take him home. Okay. Honest. Right. Have you got him? Yeah. Oh, we want to cook the stuff off them and get the stuff off the. All right, quacks. That might just all snap off. I don't know. You might want to snap the whole branch off. Here, one float, one load of line. Go on, quackers, you're coming home. You've, that's gone a bit deep, and I think it might well be a bit infected. All right, you said that. Okay. Do you want to jump and I'll pass you the duck? Sure. Yeah. I don't really want to let the duck go. One duck, got it. Yours. All right, quack. You're a youngster too. And you go, you go in there. Let's get you back. Right. Homeward bound to see the vet. Right, crackers. Let's hope you make it. Come on, quacks. Right, let's find ourselves a veterinary. We have for your delectation a duck stuck in fishing line, hooks through its throat, and I think it might be barbed. Normally we just cut them off there and pull them through, but yeah. it all looked a bit manky and nasty. Okay. So I thought we'd bring him in. But it felt as it might well be a barbed hook, so it hasn't broken the surface the other side. You can feel it with your finger. But there it is. Okay. Actually, the hook's now come through, and it is not barbed, is it? But it's probably just quicker to cut it there and pull it out. Yeah, I think so. Joy's a fishing tackle, isn't it? Cool. Right, if you just pull the other bit now, it should come straight out in a straight line. But look at that, simple as that. It just depends how much damage you think's been done there and whether he needs... Yeah, I think he's going to need antibiotics, to be honest, just because right. it looks a little bit... Old and it's quite open. Let's give him some fluids first and then. Which bit of the duck would you like? 
presented to you. Oh, Go legs on the chest, legs. leg or chest. Yeah, if you could just carry them forward, it might like four. I can see that for you, then you'll pull on you and not me. Yeah, thank you. But basically before I want to do any sort of sedation or anything like that, I just want to get some fluids on board just to basically get their blood pressure and their strength up a little bit. Right, you want to pop them back in the yeah, cage for a while? Yeah, pop them back, we'll let them chill out for a little bit. Alright, excellent. Alright, crack. Once the bird was well hydrated, Alana, our hospital manager, set to work cleaning the wound site. So we're just flushing the wound out. Obviously the hook, we don't know when it was discarded, so how clean or dirty it was. And it's obviously gone into the skin. So we just need to make sure we flush the wound out really well, just so that if there's any dirt in there, it's not gonna cause a problem. Now looking much cleaner, the injury was covered in a special protective gel to keep the tissue clean and healthy. With antibiotics and regular monitoring, this duck should be feeling better in no time. We go to his pen now then. Well, it's now been a few days, but amazingly this mallard has healed perfectly. The hook wasn't too badly uh, embedded in the neck. He has made a complete recovery. The vets have fully signed him off and he's ready to go back to the wild. So fingers crossed he doesn't get tangled up in line anytime soon. Come on, buddy. You ready? Freedom for a duck. And this is where we wait for three hours with him not actually leaving the box. Freedom. Well, he's gone off beautifully, flew straight out. He's just getting a drink, getting his bearings back. Fingers crossed he's not going to get tangled again. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button. And make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.